All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of two. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by dividing both sides by x squared. So these two cancel out and I get x to the power of x over x to the power of two is equal to one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So I get x to the power of x minus two is equal to one. Now from here, I'm gonna take the ln on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x minus two is equal to ln of one. Now if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, this is equal to b times ln a. So I can move x minus two to the front, and I get x minus two times ln x is equal to ln of one is zero. So now I get two equations. I get x minus two equals zero, and ln of x is equal to zero. x minus two is equal to zero, that simply means x equals 2, that's a simple equation. And for ln of x equals 0, I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. These two cancel out from my left hand side, so I, I'm left with x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So these are my two solutions. Alright, so in this equation, I have x to the power of 4 plus x squared is equal to 20. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is first start by subtracting 20 on both sides so we can have all our terms on one side. So I get x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 20 is equal to 0. Now this may seem like a quadratic equation, but it's not because we have the power of 4 as our primary term, and then that's led by the power of 2. And in a normal quadratic equation, we have... 2 as our primary, then we just have 1, and then we have some constant c. So how are we going to solve this? Well, we can't use the, we can't factor this out by using the quadratic formula because this is not a quadratic equation. So to solve this, what I want to do is rewrite this as x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 16 plus 4. So I rewrote, rewrote 20 as 16 plus 4, and the reason I did this is because negative 16 is the same thing as negative 2 to the power of 4, and negative 4 is the same thing as negative 2 squared. So now notice how I have something in the power of 4 and something in the power of 2, and they were both the same. Now I can put the powers of 4s together and the powers of 2 together, so I get x to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and 16 is the same thing as 4 squared as well. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 4 squared, and I have this plus x squared minus 2 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 4 is the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2, which is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So now I get x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 plus x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now notice how everything is in the power of 2. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we're going to use this property on these two groups. So I first get x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 plus x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can use this property again on x squared minus 4 by rewriting as x squared minus 2 squared. So that's going to equal x plus 2 times x minus 2. And I have this plus x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out x minus 2. So I get x minus 2 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 2 plus x plus 2. which is equal to zero. And notice how we can also factor out x plus two as well. So 
So, actually at the start, what we could have done is just factored x squared minus four out, but now we're gonna factor out x squared, x plus two as well. So I get x plus two times x minus two times x squared plus four plus one is equal to zero. So x plus two times x minus two, like I said, was x squared minus four. And I have this times x squared plus four plus one, which is x squared plus five. Now this is equal to zero. Now this gives me two equations. I get x squared minus four is equal to zero, and I get x squared plus five is equal to zero. So for x squared minus four equals zero, I can add four on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to four, and this is equal to positive or negative two. And for x squared plus five is equal to zero, I get x squared is equal to negative five, and I get x is equal to positive negative square root of negative five, which is equal to positive negative square root of five i.